Singapore Airlines as an entity who has over 70 years. It was known as Malayan Airways. When Singapore and Malaysia parted, it became two entities. Singapore Airlines was officially formed and named in 1972. It was a very small company when I joined, and everybody knew one another. It wasn't international yet. You see, those days, the uh, intercontinental flights were all dominated by the uh, big boys, you know, like Pan Am, Qantas, Lufthansa, and so on. So when SIA came into the picture, we were taking on the big boys. A lot of major expansion happens uh, in, in the 80s and 90s. We made a name for ourselves for investing in new planes. Hardware get us into the game, but it's the software that, that, that differentiates us. What differentiates Singapore Airlines all these years is our devotion to customer service. How people like to be serviced back in the 70s and how people like to be serviced today fundamentally did not change much. Fundamentally is that the kind of courtesy and treating you as though you are a guest in my house. Singapore Girl as an icon for the airline it is very much uh, a consistent uh, feature in our branding uh, advertisements and we find that it's, it's timeless. Everybody was quite sceptical right? that a small airline like us could expand. I would say we were so lucky. We managed to convince the travelling public that we can do a good job as well. Choosing Hong Kong as one of the first port outside uh, Southeast Asia to fly to is a very natural thing to do because of the tremendous uh, amount of business dealings between the two uh, territories. We see the increased trade and uh, people exchanges between the Singapore and this part of the world. Singapore Airlines very much want to be part of that, and as has been done for the last 60 years, we want to do so for the next 60 years.